Hey everybody, how you doing? And Two Weapons back again with you. Wanted to do a quick video today on the holster I've been using for my Glock 19 Gen 4. I didn't see any other videos on YouTube regarding this particular holster, so I thought I'd throw one out there and give you my two cents and an overview of it. Uh, this particular holster was recommended to me by one of the guys at the gun shop. He uses the same holster and it really fit my, fit my needs pretty well. Uh, I really didn't want something that was going to be uh, really difficult to get on and off, having to feed my belt through a bunch of hoops and things of that nature. So uh, this holster really makes it easy to get on and off and I'll go ahead and touch on some of those things here shortly. I got this holster off Amazon.com that seemed to be the cheapest place to get it and it ran me $48.60 so right under $50 and for a real durable uh, well-named reputable holster that's a pretty good price. Uh, sometimes you can pay upwards of $100 for a decent holster so it's coming from Safari Land. It's a concealment holster, duty gear. It's the 5181. The full model number is 5181-283-61. It's a high ride paddle holster for the Glock uh, 19 and 23, and it's a loop paddle. And uh, again, more of a concealment holster, but I do use it for open carry when I'm at the range. So uh, we'll get a little bit more into it here and show you kind of a close up of the, the holster itself. And uh, as you, as I mentioned before, it is from Safari Land, so it's a very durable, reputable company. You know, they've done a lot of holsters. They're, they're well known. They uh, make really good products, and it's got all their information on the back here, so you're getting an authentic one. Uh, it's all leather construction, as you can see. It's got a nice ride area here for against the skin or against the uh, the belt area. Uh, two things I really like about this particular holster, or I should say three, is again one that you don't have any type of hoops that you're feeding it through. You have kind of a clip here that um, clips up under or around the belt there and it makes it real easy to slide on and off when the pistol is not within the holster. Once the pistol is within the holster, this really puts a lot of tension up against this, and it's almost near impossible to pull this off the belt. So it does still retain that uh, that you know that that feature of not allowing someone to kind of strip that off you without you wanting it to be. Um, but again, giving it a lot a lot of uh, ease feature as far as getting it on and off when the pistol's not in there, and not needing to feed it through a bunch of belt hoops, things of that nature. So uh, the other thing I like about this is the adjustable uh, tension screw here, and that allows you to loosen it or uh, constrict it a little bit on your pistol depending on how tight you want it for carry. Uh, and the third thing I really like about this one is the open area on the top where the uh, sights ride down into. Uh, you know a lot of holsters have all this uh, it, uh, not exposed, it's covered up, and uh, although that's fine, it just kind of, I like my sights to be real, real easy there. This lightens it up a little bit, it allows me to kind of index it a little bit as I'm drawing. Uh, so I really like that feature as well, it's kind of really growing on me. Uh, so overall, that's kind of the features of the holster. Real good looking holster, as you can see here. Uh, again, real durable, quality construction, real good stitching on there, real thick leather. I'll pull you a little bit close up there so you can kind of see what they've got the construction made out of there. And it uh, fits the, the Glock 19 very well. And as you can see, I can slide it right in there. It retains it. It's got the, uh, the areas there where it kind of sits and uh, molds to the pistol itself. The bottom is open, so you don't have any kind of buildup of dust or dirt or debris. Fits in there real well. Comes out real well. Again, you can adjust how easy it comes in and out by screwing that in and out and constricting it or loosening it. And that's uh, pretty much it for the overview, guys. Let me kind of show you how I get it on and off and uh, show you how easy that is. All right, guys, so just wanted to go over some of the features and show you how it works uh, as I'm carrying a pistol. Right now, I got it holstered, my Glock on the so right-hand side here. doesn't add a whole lot of bulk when I'm carrying it concealed like this. It is a concealable holster. It rides a little bit higher up on the waist than most paddle holsters do. Uh, but again, that gives you the ability with a sweatshirt, a jacket, a larger shirt to be able to conceal that a little bit. I can lift up, and you're able to uh, see the barrel part of it is exposed just the slightest bit. Uh, but that doesn't look much more than like a phone holster or something like that. So I, you know, I'm hot. I I would have, find it hard to believe that a lot of people would really notice that or consider that a threat if they did notice it. Um, I am able to lift my shirt up and over and carry it open like this, open carry. I, this is how I carry at the gun shop. Uh, I, I, I don't tuck my shirts in, so this is really the only way that I am able to open carry. But I like about this holster is that it still does kick the gun out a little bit to the right-hand side where I'm able to get my, my thumb and my index finger up around and draw still. It doesn't uh, impede any way. It's not sticking up too close to my side where I can't get my finger in there, even 
even with a sweatshirt kind of wrapped around the inside, I can still get up in there and draw. I can still reholster without anything kind of in my way. So I really like that. It feels really nice. The weight is distributed really nicely on my side. That uh, pad on the inside is, goes down all the way right here and then up and around to about this side uh, or this area here. So it does distribute that weight really well on the waist. The only time I really notice that I'm carrying this gun is when I'm in, in my car sitting and uh, this thing kind of rides up into my side a little bit. But uh, being that I'm able to kind of slide my gun forward on this, on this belt, which is a nice feature, I'm able to kind of mitigate that uncomfortableness until I'm able to get back out and then slide it back. Uh, this holster will not come off my belt. I tell you what guys, that clip does an excellent job of retaining that holster on the belt. Uh, so it's not able to really get tugged off your belt at all. The gun is a different matter. You know, there's no lock on this holster like a lot of paddle holsters are. I'm not a big fan of the locks on the paddle holster uh, for two reasons. One, I don't want to have to screw with the lock every time I draw in a, in a stressful situation. And two, I don't want to have to have a, my finger pushing on that area as I'm drawing my gun out because, as you know, there are some times when, you know, someone could pull that out and their finger goes into that mag while they pull that trigger and they blow a hole through their leg. So, not to say that it ever happens a lot, but it has an option. Or a possibility so I prefer no uh, lock on my on my paddle holster and uh, just kind of hope that the guy isn't able to get close enough for me to be able to pull that holster or that gun from my holster uh, getting the holster off though is actually pretty easy uh, when the gun is out and I'll show you here within a couple seconds here or maybe a second I'm able to uh, well, of course now say I got it uh, we're on camera here I'm able to get it right out though and it's just because that uh, that clip right here in the the uh, bottom part is clipped around your belt and that's kind of what's holding that in there and uh, you know once you don't have that gun in there and that pressure against the holster there's really nothing holding this holster in except for you know that that little clip there so you're able to kind of twist and pull it off and as you can see is easily get that back on and get your gun back in the holster and you're ready to go and again that was one of the real reasons I bought this holster was the ease of getting it on and off I didn't want to have to screw with uh, feeding it through a bunch of hoops that kind of thing so um, but overall, real comfortable guys. It does allow me to quick draw, allows me to get up on the target real quickly and reholster real easily. Doesn't get in my way at all. Uh, you're able to, re you know, constrict this a little bit if you want it looser or tighter. It doesn't pull up on my belt a whole lot unless my belt is real loose. So overall, real happy with it. Um, it affords me the ability to carry, still concealed if I want, or open. It's a paddle holster external, which is real nice. Uh, it's a, you know, a pretty decent sized gun on the side here and 15 rounds of 9 millimeters. so uh, this is a really nice holster guys I really like it uh, I'll continue to feed updates if something happens where I don't like it I'll end up putting an update down in the description but otherwise uh, so far so good hope this helps out somebody if you have any questions let me know otherwise as always I appreciate watching and until next time take it easy